The following is a commercial presentation brought to you by Collectibles Guru. Hi, I'm Gary Ashburn, and I've been working in the world of collectibles and memorabilia for over 30 years. Here at the Collectibles Guru, we only bring you genuine and exclusive memorabilia from the worlds of sport, music, TV and film, heritage, and even more. Every item we bring you will come with a certificate of authenticity. It'll have our name, our address, our phone number. In other words, you can always contact us. And most important, we're a member of AFTAL, who are one of the top three autograph trade associations in the world. This means that every collectible item we bring you is guaranteed 100% genuine. So when we say an item is signed, we guarantee it is hand signed and not a printed or a facsimile signature. So if you're looking for a unique, unusual and highly collectible gift for yourself or for someone you love, then this is the place to be. Hello and a very good evening. Welcome to Sporty Stuff TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us for The Collectibles Guru, a brilliant way uh, to finish your Sunday and indeed finish your weekend. If you are after some amazing sporting memorabilia, then we have got you covered over the course of the next hour. And it is not just me. I'm not the collectibles guru, but he sat to my right hand side. He is a legend in his own lunchtime. It is the one and only uh, Gary Gazza Ashburn. How are you? How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Nice to, good see, to you. see you and all. Yeah. Uh, good to be back. Yeah, it is. But loads of great collectibles again. Um, one or two sort of back in stock and yeah. uh, a whole range of new items as well, premier items. So, yeah, we've got a good mix of, and different, we try to bring you different price points. So, uh, you know, something for every pocket. It, you Absolutely, know. and with uh, I, know, I know we shouldn't really mention Christmas, but it'll be here before you know it. Uh, these these items will make good Christmas gifts, won't they? As well, all of them are great gifts. I mean, uh, you know, as we said, it, we just said earlier when we were talking about them. The key thing is every one of these is real. So when we talk about signed, we we you know we guarantee and they are one hundred percent signed. They're not facsimiles. They're not printed. They are signed by the relevant actor or the relevant sports person. You know? Yeah. So you know they're real. Very important with your collectibles. We will talk more about that as we head through the show as well. If you see anything that you love during this show too, uh, you can order it by free phone 0800 254 5402 or indeed you can uh, buy online collectiblesguru.com. I'll remind you about all of that as, as we go through the show. You can also spread the cost uh, with over um, for interest-free payments over the, um, the time. So that is a brilliant thing to do. But let's get cracking. We've got so many items to get through over the course of this show. Shall we look at the first 10, Gala? Yeah, we've got a good mix. Here, this one, Sri and Botham, of course, great cricketer. Beefy is his nickname. Yeah. He always was really competitive. Got a great mounted item there. A, a photo montage, really. Several photographs of him in action. And, of course, his genuine hand-signed signature. Can't go wrong. We This one we've seen before, always snapped up very quickly. Over odd stop, just odd amounts of these, you know, really hard to get. This is the most famous and voted the best cricketer ever, mm. Sir Don Bradman, but really is very special. Bill Shankly, if you're in Liverpool, this guy, they don't come any more revered than he is. Bill Shankly achieved so much in Liverpool. Great framed item there of him, framed and mounted, and his genuine hand signed signature. That is a wow. This one coming across a little down the road to Manchester. This signed by Sir Alex Ferguson and Roy Keane, the, the manager who achieved so much and the captain on the pitch who drove them on. So again, framed and mounted, an absolute must for any Man U fan. This is a brand new one, of course. Very, very, very low stock on this. What's so special about this, a great framed and mounted image. It's a great image as well, this, mm. of Pele uh, doing the sort of uh, bicycle kick almost, isn't it? And that is hand signed. Then we have another premiere. This looks great, I tell you. This is Paul Gascoigne, personally signed football boot in a display case. You can see the Gazza there written on the boot itself. So hand signed, comes in the case and they stack, so they're great to have. Bit of Formula One, this Nelson PK, one of the most famous uh, and respected drivers ever. There he is in action, hand signed by Nelson PK and ready to just put in a frame and hang on your favorite wall. 
Virginia Wade there seen with, um, of course, Her Majesty Elizabeth the Queen there. This was obviously at Wimbledon when she won the championship, so very evocative. Mm. And that is Virginia Wade's hand-signed signature. Again, frame and mounted. We, we just have odd ones of these summer ones. This, of course, are just a couple of these. This is Muhammad Ali left this. This is Muhammad Ali glove, hand-signed glove. Comes with a special hologram certificate that proves it's 100% Real. Then another great, uh, a great tennis player won loads of uh, loads and loads of championships. Australian, wasn't he? Rod Laver mm. again, 16 by 12 mounted. Uh, photo of him in action there uh, at, uh, at I think again at Wimbledon, isn't it? But a great item, and of course hand sign. So many great items. So that's the first half of the show. Lots to rattle through and, of course, lots to come uh, later on too. If you see something you like, as I say, you can order it on the website, collectiblesguru.com. And there, as you mentioned, you'll also find lots of other items as well, not just sports memorabilia. That's right. There's all sorts of items on there. You know, whatever you're looking for, um, sport, music, TV, film, a few heritage items, and it's constantly changing. Because obviously a lot of these signed items don't make the mistake of thinking we have lots of them. It's normally single figures, some cases even one. So it's constantly changing, you know. So if you see something you want, grab it quick. You know? Absolutely. And i tell you what, I've got my eye on this uh, this first item because, as you know, fan of the cricket. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, when it comes to English cricket particularly, no bigger names than Sir Ian Botham, beefy. I think widely regarded as probably one of the best all-round cricketers, um, well, not just of his generation, but of all time, isn't he? Yeah, he, I mean, the thing that came through, was it, when they played, you know, the competitive games against someone like Australia and pe people like that, Ian Botham was the same as them, just as competitive as they were, mm. you know. Um, I saw him plump to play rugby in a game and, it, you know, it was just a fun thing, obviously, for him. And his son played rugby, of yeah, course, did. didn't he? But uh, he, everything about him was competitive than that passion and desire to win. Highly respected, really popular. And if you go to a charity do, you know, something like that could go probably for s silly money because there's a massive demand for anything signed by Ian Botham. So, again, if you love your cricket, or we talk about, you know, end of season dinners and awards and things, you know, award evenings and things like that. These make absolutely fabulous gifts, so they really do. So, uh, you know, just snap them up quick. Yeah, and like you say, I mean, um, he's a cricketer that I so greatly admire and the, the game which probably everyone always thinks about is that uh, the, the Ashes game, 1981, when he, I think he, he'd been captain and hadn't been very successful as a captain and then Mike Brearley came back in. Yeah. And it was the game that Brearley came back in and, um, you know, both of them was his, his belligerent best and um, we, we were sort of behind going into the second innings and it was that innings where he scored, I think it was 149. Yeah. Um, and then in, 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 when England turned around and Willis came on, I think, and took seven or eight overs but like you say he was that kind of player wasn't he he, he had the sort of almost like the attitude of the Aussies the, the never say die sort of attitude didn't that's he? right I mean I admire that you know having played rugby I admire that in people that I think if you play sport you should always give 110 mm. percent as they say you know so I, I see that in him and uh, yeah great cricketer great tremendous player you know absolutely tremendous and if you know someone who loves their cricket what a fabulous gift this will make mm, absolutely right uh, jump in and grab it the item number you'll need is 266975 uh, of course personally signed by Surrey and both of them 199.99 if you go on the website collectiblesguru.com you can spread this over for interest free payments so just 50 pounds today it is a great way to be able to pick up these items in time for Christmas um, and, and just pay that £50 today, particularly for this one. Um, just bear in mind, we don't have huge amounts, particularly of this, less than a handful. So if you are watching on the repeat here on Sporty Stuff TV, just check the web because you may find uh, that some of these items uh, do disappear. So you will have to be quick. 266-975 if you want to get that 16 by 12 mounted photo montage display of Sir Ian both of them. And when we talk about cricketing legends, perhaps going back a little bit further, uh, this next item, uh, Sir Don Bradman. Um, tell, us through, tell us about this item. Well, Sir Don Bradman, I, I was voted the greatest cricketer ever. I mean, I was stunned because I, I think we spoke about this previously as well. He, his, his 
run, his average run, oh, yeah, he said was over it. like 99 or yeah. something. So it's just incredible. I mean, the guy was amazing, absolutely amazing. And I mean, he is the most, probably the most sought after cricket signature there is, yeah. you know, because he is just held as like, probably the, well, he was voted the greatest batsman ever. And I, and I can't see who else, anyone could ever query it, you know, amazing talent. You know, amazing talent, and uh, and in fact, he didn't. When you look at the runs he scored, you know, he he um, he. When you look at the amount of runs he scored, uh, not a lot of them were sixes. So he, 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 must, have, he must have got a lot of fours. We <laughs> didn't like to knock them out of the ground. You know, <laughs> an amazing cricketer. You yeah. Know. Well, you it really look, was. Like you say, when you look at some of the averages now of um, test cricketers, I mean, if you've got like a 50, 60 average, you're doing well. A 99 average, I mean, unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, really. It really is, isn't it? I, I'm a, I didn't believe it. I just didn't think it could be real, you know, when I sort of read it and, yeah. you know, someone told you, how can it be? You know, that means he scores 100 every time he goes in. Yeah, pretty much. You know, it's yeah, unbelievable. But it is a remarkable piece, very a, a true collector's yeah. item. You probably only normally see that in a museum or somewhere like that. There are very, very, very few of these and they're snapped up very, very quickly. Just imagine, you know, again, if you're a cricketer like your own club or anyone like, imagine that in the boardroom or as a piece that it's going to turn heads wherever you hang it, you know. Yeah. And it is very, very rare. Remember, it's hand signed by the man himself. Like all the signatures in this, you know, yeah. they are genuinely hand signed. Just crazy. I think my average is about 24, so I've got a little bit to work on uh, to get to uh, Don <laughs> Bradman. I think mine was about three. You know? <laughs> Actually, it might have been four because I either got four or I was out. You I, know? Was I was it. I didn't like running. No, you know, right, singles, well. you know. Yeah. Don't say a word. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home. Was that your That, that was, was your it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, if you uh, want to grab this one uh, it is that 16 by 12 mounted photo and signature display uh, of Sir Donald Bradman. 278524 is the item number there. It's £229.99 or four interest free payments of £57.50. Uh, let us move on to what I think is another fantastic item. Uh, this is the Bill Shankly personally signed 16 by 12 framed and mounted photo and signature display. It's 226523. And we were chatting about th this piece before the show. I mean, potentially, well, the greatest manager of all time, certainly one of the greatest. It's got to it? be. I mean, I, I don't actually think, I can't remember ever having a, seen the signature of him close up before. Mm. It is that rare. But obviously in, in, the, in Liverpool, that is something that it would be almost like <laughs> winning the pools, maybe, <laughs> almost. Yeah. You know, It's so, so rare. And he is so revered here. But al also other clubs respect him. He was the manager, wasn't he, there when they won the European Cup for the first time. And yeah. I remember Tommy Smith scoring a goal. And that was the Ron Yates era and all that, you know. But he was an amazing, you know, an amazing manager and always seemed, he always reminded me of how I imagined Fergie is a bit, you know, Sir Alex Ferguson. They, they're probably, you're very clear who the manager is. Yeah. I think, you, yeah. Know, you know what I mean? You do something wrong, I think you, you'll, be, you'll know pretty quickly. That's you what know. it's like on this show as well. I, yeah. have, to, I have to behave because I do something wrong. Oh, I yeah, know yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, put me stick away. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, we're not talking about that. Um, but the other thing about um, Bill Shankly, and again, you know, I, I sort of grew up in the era of um, sort of 80s football, and it was Liverpool and Everton were the, the two big sides. So you, mm. I always kind of assumed that Liverpool were top of the league, were in what is the Premiership now. But when, when he became the manager of Liverpool, they were in like the, the second division, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, he, he, he took them up. He took them up, and he, he was just so, to listen to him, he was such a broad accent, you know, Scottish accent, was just so broad. I mean, you sort of, it was like, no disrespect, but if you had a conversation between Bill Shankly and Sir Alex Ferguson, <laughs> you'd probably, um, you'd have to listen intently to understand it all, I think. But they were so passionate and dedicated, and they were the leaders, and they achieved yeah. so much. This is a really, really very, very rare item, and we only have a handful of them. Once it's gone, I don't know if, if ever we'll be able to bring them back or when, you know, because I just wouldn't know where to go to get another one. Yeah. I mean, it is a, a super piece. Like um, Gaz is saying, if you want to get this, make sure you snap it up quickly. Because I get that kind of feeling as well. You know, we're at that point of the year where people are looking for gifts. They're looking for that something a little bit different for a family member. And items 
like this really are, you know, that, that, that different sort of Christmas gift, aren't they? Well, that's the great thing, you know, whether it's for a Christmas, birthday, anniversary, divorce, whatever it is, retirement, <laughs> you know, celebrate, you know. It's, Trust uh, you. Just treat yourself, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and the other thing as well is, if, you know, to be frank, if one or two of these, some of them are considered purchases, mm. if, you know, club your money together. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how much money people have or haven't. If these are the gifts, they never forget. Mm. You know, you could be a millionaire, and where would you go to get it? You mm. know, where would you go to get that and know it's real? You can hear because you get all the backup and the authentication and certificates and everything with it. And if you've never seen the show before, do hang on to all those certificates yeah. of authenticity and the lifetime guarantee that comes with it. it. Comes from myself or other AFTAL members, AFTAL. They're one of the top autograph trade societies in the world, and they authenticate for police you know trading standards etc cetera, etc cetera. so wherever you're going make sure you do uh, do do keep that paperwork it's really important uh, the item number if you want to uh, grab the bill shankly signed uh, framed and mounted photo is 226523 199 pounds 99 and again if you want to split the cost you can over four interest free payments on the website it's 50 pounds today uh, collectiblesguru.org um, and talking of one um, amazing manager to another, and, and this really is, um, it's a brilliant piece because you obviously think about the Fergie era with uh, Manchester United, and like you said, you know, obviously Alex Ferguson pulling the strings off the pitch, uh, yeah. and his captain on the pitch, again, you know, love him or hate him, I mean, Roy Keane was a force to be reckoned with, and you've got both the signatures here. Yeah, it's great, because you say it takes you back, it, it says it all there, doesn't it? Living legends, exactly yeah. what it is. The manager who achieved so much and drove them on, and then you've got, you know, Roy Keane, who was the captain, who was the man on the pitch, who drove them on. And both of them were very strong, powerful leaders, weren't mm. they? You wouldn't want to, on the pitch, let down Roy Keane, no. would you? You know what I mean? You mean a fool? No, no way, no way, Jose. You know what I mean? You know, it. Um, you know, I, I remember one of our rugby captains. If he did something wrong, he's likely to boot you up the uh, the rear end, you know, and then tell you it was someone on the other side. It was his way of winding you up, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it's amazing to get both signatures together on that great sort of silver sharpie pen. It's a real item. Hang it, and whoever has that would hang it with pride in their home, their office, their wherever Wherever they have it, it's going to turn heads and it will be cherished and loved forever. Yeah, it comes framed and ready to go as well. And mm. it does hark back to that era, doesn't it? When, you know, Manchester United were the dominant force, weren't they? Without doubt, yeah. you know. And the man there, that Sir Alex, he's the man who drove them to it. He was phenomenal. Yeah. It was so interesting at the beginning when he there was rumours he was going to go, you know, at one point because it hadn't gone quite as well as they thought yeah. think, originally. But um, he went and won the FA Cup, you know, on the, and then from there, it, the rest is history, isn't it, really? Yeah. I think he's probably and certainly one of the most successful managers ever and still held in high esteem. I think that is a brilliant piece. Uh, once again, there's only a few of these available, so uh, worth snapping up. You know, if you're uh, watching us live this Sunday night, or indeed, you know, if you're watching on the repeat, uh, do go quickly because these are the kind of things that are going to disappear. And as we said, particularly at this time of the year, people are looking for that special gift, that special Christmas present. And you've certainly got something for well, hopefully every sports fan on this show. That one is two hundred and twenty-nine pounds ninety-nine. Uh, Fifty-seven fifty will be your first payment today if you want to split it four ways. Uh, um, collectiblesguru.com item number is 280531 that uh, signed frame uh, framed photo of Sir Alex Ferguson and Roy Keane an absolutely brilliant piece now uh, if uh, you have seen the show before, uh, you might have seen um, some signed Pele items. Uh, however, you will have not seen this personally signed Pele item. And, and this is very special, uh, Gazza, isn't it? Tell us why. Well, it's, it's a great signature. Pele, extremely rare anyway. But what's so special about this is actually signed his full name, isn't it? Or virtually got Edson Santos Pele, mm. which is very rare. But I think that's a stunning image uh, that says everything about Pele anyway. But the fact that it is signed in full would actually make it even more collectible because obviously not so many items around like that. Yeah. You know? So it is, it is a very special item. 
extremely rare. We have really small stock of this. So do grab it quick if you're interested in something very, very rare. This ticks all the boxes. And the guy's a legend, isn't he? Probably the most famous footballer ever, I would think. You could go into the deepest jungle in probably South America or, uh, you know, or in the middle of Africa. And if you mentioned, said mention a footballer, the likelihood they would know who this guy is. Yeah. You know. and it's such a great image as well because it's, it's caught his sort of, almost like his trademark move, isn't it? That sort of uh, yeah. bicycle kick. That's right. He, he was amazing talent, wasn't he? Mm. I mean, I think he played, was it in... Someone I'm sure it was, I've just forgotten for a minute, forgive me getting old. But I think he played in five World Cups, you know. I think you're, pro yeah, you're probably yeah, right. Yeah, he was just amazing. He played when he first, he was young, wasn't he, about mm. 17. And he was just incredible. He really, really was. But certainly if you're looking for something, the pride of place, wherever you hang that, everybody's going to go, wow, mm. you know? And, and, and a great point here as well, because you mentioned that slightly different because he, he signed his full name, and a, and a great moment here again for people who are just joining us to mention that you know you can buy this with confidence knowing that that is his signature. Uh, mm. And again, you know, you chatted about this on previous episodes that um, it can be a bit of a minefield out there, can't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, you, you can be lucky, but if you're buying on the internet, you know, I've seen loads of... Um, People, I've done some programs on the Beeb as well, where you have to value items and stuff. You know, now all about now we're looking about authentication. You know, and and the thing is, you know, people say, oh, "I've got this certificate, I've got this," yeah. and you go, "Well, who's it from?" You know, there's no name, no address, nothing. You get a phone number on a certificate. It could be on a lovely piece of silk, you know, yeah. but. What is it? Is it real? You don't know, oh dear. You know, with this, it's, as I say, it's got, it'll have the name, the address, the phone number, the email address, and, and the society number of the, of the dealer it comes from. Some are from me, some are from other people, but you know when you buy it, most important, it's real. That is the key thing, it's real. So you don't need to worry. You're dealing with a company that the big auction houses and everybody uses for authentication. So it takes all those doubts away. Mm. And if you're looking for something by probably the most famous footballer in the world that's extremely rare, that is it. Yeah, and let's be honest, the, the pieces like this are just going to become like gold dust, aren't they, um, mm. uh, eventually? So if you have any inkling that you might want that, once again, less than a handful of these, uh, you've got to act quickly. I think that's a great price today as well. £299.99 is the price on that. Um, or if you want to go on the clear pay way, you can. £75 is your first payment of four. Do that on the website, collectiblesguru.com. Or if you want to use free phone, you can. It's 0800 254 5402. And the item number you need is 271519. So, from um, Pelé to, well, I suppose a, another legend in, in, in his era and um, still a, a, a big character, um, Paul Gascoigne. Now, you've got a personally signed boot from Gaza. Yeah, and this is great. Comes in a complete in the display Look case there as well. That's so, amazing. Uh, yeah, you see he's even got Gaza written on the boot, isn't yeah. it? You see it as it goes around. And I must, you know, sort of compliment Daniel and Richard and the staff. It's great, isn't it? And Arthur and all the staff. Yeah. You know, Susan, Susan, they've done a great job here, you know. Gaza, there it is. Look, hand signed by the man himself. Yeah. You know. And uh, he, the guy is a legend. He's still loved and really, you know, uh, people, no matter what club, you know, all the club, Tottenham, you know, Newcastle, he's at Rangers. They all love him, yeah. you know. And I don't think anyone can forget, you know, that time with England when he used to play. He scored that remarkable goal once in the, that was in the World Cup, against Scotland. It's got in Scotland, yeah. yeah. Amazing goal. And at the end, you could see how much it meant to him to yeah. get through those games or the sadness when it doesn't go right. Mm. But he was a passionate, dedicated footballer, you know. All right, maybe the media tells us maybe he's had a few problems in life, but the guy's a legend, you know, and a great, great footballer. And if you want something special, that really is. Yeah. Has Gazza ever, ever met Gazza? Uh, I've ne actually, I've met him briefly years ago at a charity do. Yeah. But um, we did um, we did actually talk to him once on the phone as when well. I had the pleasure of meeting uh, one of his his uh, manager, who's a lovely girl as well, actually. Um, but yeah, she he, he's he's doing. Well, he, I tell you, what he's really popular. At. He'll do a few of these, you know, charity dinners. Yeah, or yeah. Q and A sessions. He's always sells out straight away. I, I know not long ago there was. 
was him and Vinnie Jones doing one together. Oh, I yes. think that would have been fun. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> there was that famous photo, wasn't there, when he was at Wimbledon? That's right. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Gadget you can imagine it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be very handy, that, I think. Yeah. I think that, that would have been a very interesting evening out. <laughs> Two big characters, you know. Yeah. But a, a great player as well. I tell you what, as much as I would like our Gazza's signature, I'd rather have this <laughs> one. Uh, probably, you know, the real Gazza, really, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be worth a lot more, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's the Paul Gascoigne personally signed football boot in the display case 256040 uh, price is 244.99 and you can pay uh, with Clearpay as well split the cost four ways makes it uh, nice and easy for you to do that £61.25 is the price today uh, if you want to go on Clearpay next up um, hopefully we're, we're covering uh, you know, lots of different sports over the course of this show and if football's not your thing maybe it's uh, Formula 1 and next up is this personally signed uh, mounted action photo of um, Nelson Piquet. Yeah, I mean, a, a very famous, again, you know, sort of uh, Formula One legend almost, you know, shows him in action there. And uh, it's, it, uh, that's what you want. If you're building a collection of Formula One, what mm. we're trying to do is to find as many as we can. And we, again, we only have literally handfuls of these. Sometimes it's just a couple. And what we're trying to do is bring different, you know, uh, drivers over the years and the decade so you can build a collection from here on Sporty Stuff TV. Mm. We try to do the same with all the, all, the, all the genres of sport that we offer and music and other areas as well. But the great thing is, that, so that you know straight away, you think, oh, I want to build a collection of Formula One. I'll watch that sporty stuff TV, you know, which is what you want to do. Because then, you know, every Sunday night at 10, you've got the home to come look for it. And you know that hopefully there's going to be something there for you. If you don't see it, have a little look on the uh, website. Probably be there. Yeah, exactly right. We're, we are here uh, every Sunday at 10, so do come back. Tell your friends as well. If you've got any uh, friends perhaps who don't know about the show, uh, new to Sporty Stuff TV, uh, make sure you tell them every Sunday night at 10. Uh, and then uh, if you don't catch us, of course, you can catch the repeat through the week as well, weekdays at Five. But if you uh, love that one or you know someone who would love it, any Formula One fans, I'm sure would want to get their hands on that. Uh, item number is 234243, £149.99 or £37.50 on Clearpay if you want to go that way. If you do want to uh, use the phones as well, you can 0800 254 5400. And from Formula One to tennis next. Um, and this is a lovely piece, actually, um, signed by Virginia Wade. And actually, um, very evocative for the fact um, that we've um, got um, uh, Her Majesty the Queen, of course, and, um, with all the sad news that's uh, surrounded her over the last few uh, weeks, of course. That's a really evocative um, picture, isn't it? It is. It's a piece of tennis history, isn't mm. it? I mean, if, you, if you're British as well, you know, a British tennis player, no, no disrespect. But very, very rarely when you know Wimbledon, <laughs> yeah. and you've got Virginia Wade, who was the darling of the, the the country when she won the tournament at Wimbledon, and there she is with Her Majesty. Mm. So it's a piece of true British sporting history, very, very, very rare, and of course hand signed by Virginia Wade. But I think the fact that it has got Her Majesty as well just gives you that extra tinge. It's something again, you know, if you're a huge tennis fan or you've got someone in the family who is, you know, they would adore that. They really would it's something just so different you know and it does bring back all those memories maybe you were there you know maybe you watched it on the tv that's the great thing about collectibles yeah. and memorabilia it's about nostalgia it's about memories it's about you know thinking oh yeah i remember that i was there or it brings it all come flooding back that's when i met the wife that's when i met the husband that's when it whatever it is you know it's your choice but very very uh, low stock but grab it while you can because i'm sure that will make its way very quick click very very quickly to a collector or a you know or a very very big tennis enthusiast absolutely it is ace that one see Ooh. what i did there see what i did there it's ace anyway uh the virginia wade personally signed framed and mountain uh, mounted photo is at uh, 267 300 that's the item number 159 pounds 99 or uh, 40 pounds if you just want to pay um your first payment of four on clear pay that comes mounted 
and ready to go. Thank you for joining us this evening here on Sporty Stuff TV. Still got uh, over half an hour of fantastic items and if nothing has yet tickled your fancy, don't, more, uh, don't worry, we've got more to come um, later. But if you're a big boxing fan, then you need to be listening up right now because something which has proved uh, really, really popular um, over the past few shows um, are boxing memorabilia. And you know, when it comes to boxing, uh, no one bigger really than Muhammad Ali. No, and I think now we're down literally to a couple. We didn't mm. have many to start with. Obviously, this is considered purchase, but if you're a serious collector or you love your boxing, um, this is something you should have a real serious think about. The, the great thing, if you look on the internet, there are a lot of Muhammad Ali signatures around. Sadly, I would say probably 90% of them or more are fake. Yeah. You know, the great thing about this, not only do you get our certificate with the Aftel back in from an Aftel dealer, not only will you get that, but you get a separate certificate of authenticity. You can see that small piece under the glove. Okay. That is like a small hologram that traces the history of that particular glove. And it comes originally from Muhammad Ali's own family and his management team. So you couldn't have better provenance. <laughs> it is the best there is, you know. And if you put this in an auction event, I mean, I don't like hyping things up, but I could, t I could tell you at least three auctions, I know, um, in the last few years, you know, where something like this, I've seen them sell for, you know, a, a lot, lot more than that. I won't go into the things, but believe me, a lot, lot more, because it is so desired, so passionate to get that with the incredible provenance it has. It's a unique opportunity you'll probably never get it again and we're finding it we had them uh, available previously in another place but now it's taken us what nine months to get them mm -hmm. we managed to grab a couple and it's been a couple two here two there but they just fly and do have a think about that if you're looking for that very 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 special gift maybe it's for yourself maybe you deserve it or somebody special you know and love Think about that because it is a piece of true history. Absolutely right. Uh, personally signed with the special hologram certificate there too. Um, and like Gaz is saying, literally, um, you know, sort of a couple of those. There's, there's hardly any left. So if you want to get that, grab it. Again, it is a considered purchase. Um, $1,999.99 uh, is the price on that. Two five four. 598 is your item number. You can find more details. Uh, and again, if you love your boxing, if boxing is your sport of choice, uh, do check out collectiblesguru.com where you'll find more boxing memorabilia. Um, but to uh, finish up the first half of the show, we have got um, an amazing item uh, personally signed by Rod Laver. This is the uh, mounted photo uh, and signature display 16 by 12. Um, this is rather nice. Yeah, it is. It's all mounted up. What you've got is that great image of Rod Laver in action there, mm. winning another uh, Grand Prix award there. I mean, he was a very successful player in his time, you know, really, really successful. And I mean, I know I remember him at Wimbledon and different places playing around the world. He was one of the top two or three for a long, long, long time. I think he was one of the biggest winners as well ever at Wimbledon, wasn't he, in, in terms of how many mm. times he won the trophy. But yeah, you've got a great uh, photograph of him in action. And then, of course, what it comes, his signature is actually on a, a photographic uh, first day cover actually there he's had it hand signed oh, okay. Rod Laver so um, a really special piece and very very rare and again we, we literally just have a couple so once it's gone that will be it you know uh, 236419 is the item number if you want to uh, grab that one personally signed by Rod Laver uh, is 149.99 um, four payments of £37.50 if you want to uh, pick that up on ClearPay. If you have just joined us, uh, collectiblesguru.com is the website. This is the Collectibles Guru here on Sporty Stuff TV. We are here every Sunday night from 10. Uh, and if you have missed the first half of the show, don't worry, because you can watch the repeats uh, every night from uh, 5 here on Sporty Stuff TV. But if you have missed the first half, not to worry, uh, going to give you a little time here to get your halftime oranges in as uh, Gaza takes us through what's coming up in part two. What we got, Gaza? Yeah, the king of the road here, of course, Lewis Hamilton, world champion, most wins ever. Uh, the great uh, mounted uh, and framed and mounted image of him there with his genuine signature. That is a must. Always sells out Lewis Hamilton. Don't miss out. Then we have Alan Prost. 
uh, Alan Prost, another famous uh, driver over the years. Um, again, a great image of him. As I said, if you're trying to build a collection of uh, mm. Formula One, we're trying to bring you different sort of uh, racing icons over the years. In my opinion, they don't come any more respected than this guy. John Surtees only won the Formula One World Championship once, but was also world champion many occasions on the bikes. Only man who's ever done it both in both the uh, phases. Then we have Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, that great glove of him there. Uh, one of our best sellers at the moment has been flying out the door, hand signed by the man himself. If you love a bit of boxing, don't hang around for that one. Then another top seller again, we're down to the bones on this one, the last couple, literally. This is uh, Ale Alexander, I think they call it Alexander Usyk, uh, the world champion uh, boxer, great boxer, personally signed glove. They're a real legend of football, taking you back, a Welsh and Italian legend, the John Charles, even before my time almost. A 16 by 12 uh, framed and mounted <laughs> photograph and his signature, grab it quick. You love a bit of rugged, yes. it's also proved popular. This is Martin Johnson, the England 2003 World uh, Captain when we won the World Cup. Hand signed, beautiful montage, looks stunning in your home or clubhouse. Then we have a premier, this is AP McCoy, one of the most successful jockeys, of course, here in England, and uh, a great sort of image of him. We once again, a photograph of him celebrating another victory, and his hand signed on a first day cover underneath. And then we have another big winner when you're frying your uh, bookie or you're frying the darts. This is the man, world champion, Phil the, Power, Phil the Power Taylor. This is a personally signed darts play shirt, similar to what he would have worn, hand signed. Then of course, in our world, one of the greatest rugby players ever. Very talkative, very chatty, but he was a lot, of, well, he was electric. David Campisi, it's an A4 signed art print, only 850 in the world. Somebody artist and the player, grab that quick. Love that caricature of Campisi. Yeah, they're That's great. Brilliant. Yeah, the caricature, <clears throat> the caricature artist John Ireland is one of the biggest in that world. Yeah, and his work is really sought after. He's had them in books. They did these big books that are like art books. Yeah, a lot of people will buy the book and cut the print. It's a terrible way to destroy the book. Cut the prints out and hang them around the wall as a collection because mm. they're great. They look beautiful. Uh, that's coming up. If you want to grab it before we get to it, of course you can do at collectiblesguru.com. But uh, we are going to start off this off with uh, Formula One and uh, you know talk about a guy, talk about a guy who's been. Um, you know, doing amazing things in the world of uh, F1 for, for many years now is uh, the Brit Lewis Hamilton. You've got a personally signed photo here, Gaza. Yeah, this is a, a great uh, framed and mounted photograph of Lewis Hamilton there. Shows him uh, celebrating, I guess, another victory. But it's all mounted, professionally double mounted and cut. Beautifully done. It's ready there just to sort of hang on your favourite wall. Uh, 16 by 12, so good size item. It's, it, any Formula One fan would just adore that. Mm. He just flies out. He's so difficult to get now because there's a massive... You see, the old cliche, the demand is huge and the availability is small. And that's why any time that's around, just flies out the door, you know? And if you, so if you're looking for a bit of Lewis Hamilton, don't delay. That will just sell out very quickly. Do you know what? It's good, it's good that you said that as well because, of course, we, we had um, the, uh, the sign Nelson PK photo. Mm. We've got Lewis Hamilton. We've got Alan Prost and John Surtees coming up. So, I mean, if you, you know, if you are a big F1 fan, you've got almost sort of lots of generations of drivers, haven't you? Well, that's what we do. And we hope to bring others because the idea is across all the genres of sport, if there's someone you particularly would like to see on anything, whether it be sport, music, maybe even TV, film or say do let us know and we'll try and have a little look around for you and hopefully bring it on one of our future shows here on a Sunday night for you at 10 o'clock yeah. and you you can get in touch through the website with any special requests so love to hear from you yeah give yeah. us a bell he loves a special <laughs> request he loves a request uh, you can email us as well studios at studio at collectibles guru uh, dot so, uh, yeah, do send in those emails. Maybe you just want us to say hello to you on a future show. Yeah, we, 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 try, and set, we try and read out some of the questions on future shows and answers as well. Yeah. So, let's hear from you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 279167. Uh, for that personally signed Lewis Hamilton uh, photo. Framed and mounted, of course, don't forget, it's 249.99. Uh, 62.50 is all you'll pay today. If you want to use Clearpay, lots to get through in the final 20 minutes, and we are staying with... Uh, 
um, Formula One, and this is uh, the Alain Pross personally signed 12 by 10 uh, mounted action photo. And this is sort of Alain Pross was uh, around in the 80s, wasn't he? Yeah, he was another really successful driver. I mean, a great one of him in action. Well, as you said, you know, we touched on it. We tried to bring a, a cross section of drivers, and mm. we'll try and bring some more. And we tried to do the same on sport. But Formula One, you know, he's massive. And if you're trying to build a collection, imagine you get all these, you frame on the wall, you know. I know a lot of people who put a collection, especially if you've got a big hall going up the staircase, oh, they yeah. look great, mm. you know. Or, or if not, I mean, I, I loved it when the fashions changed. I mean, I'm so old that normally you used to just put one picture on the wall. Now, of course, you can put loads. <laughs> yeah. It's great, you know. I'm not sure the other half thinks that, you know. But it is great because, you know what I mean, you can put them all over the wall now, can't you? These people just about this one image. You mean, oh, God, what am I going to do with the other 30 I've got? You know, well, now you can. You know? I, I just, you know what, as well, I mean, I, Formula One is not necessarily my sport, but I love this for the fact that don't, haven't the cars changed over the years? Yeah, the cars <laughs> yeah. change a lot. I'm, I, yeah, I'm not a, a, a big... Uh, I've not got a great knowledge of Formula One either. Um, but the... the, uh, the they just said to me, it doesn't show. We won't go into that. <laughs> it's I a red car. Alan Frost is yeah. a red car. Yeah. But it is, it's going it, fast. It, it, yeah. But it is a history <laughs> lesson, isn't it? Because you can also... When you look at them and you see the logos and the decals over the period, yeah. the real serious Formula One goes, oh, that'll be that 1980, that'll be 1980. So they know mm. exactly what year it is. Because it's developed by all the sponsors where they change, you know. So yeah. it's a great way to build the history and passion of the sport. Yeah. If you love it, grab it quick. If you are a big uh, Formula One fan, can you send in some uh, details, please, to, to Gaza for the next shows? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. 261370 is your item number if you uh, want to bag that. It's the Alain Prost personally signed 12 by 10 matted action photo and signature display. It's £139.99. Uh, 35 pounds today if you want to go clear pay yes uh, you, you, we can't know everything here on sporty stuff tv but one man that i do know that you know more about because uh this is the john surtees personally signed 16 by 12 photo in the signature display and actually um well you must have been you that told me because i feel like i do learn a lot from you not necessarily <laughs> on f1 but um, no. but on this particularly so uh, i knew about john surtees obviously um winning the F1, but you said he was very successful on the, the bikes as well. Yeah, he was actually more successful on the bikes than on Formula One, actually. Mm. But he was, he was a, you know, a, be a lovely, lovely, humble man. You know, really nice person and full of stories. Had a very dry sense of humour, actually, as well. But, um, but again, in my opinion, in my professional opinion, um, as, as a, you know, people come to for valuations and things, I believe that John Surtees is one of the most undervalued signatures we've ever had. Because when you do the history, when we're all dead and gone, I believe that he will achieve the recognition because he is the only guy who's mm. ever achieved that. <clears throat> he will achieve that recognition that he deserves, which was the only person ever at the moment to be world champion of bikes and of cars. And I think that makes him very, very, very special. He was a lovely guy as well. But I think he's a very undervalued signature. If you're buying something that may well, a lot of these items, people will be buying these for potential heirlooms or as items that they feel may well increase in value. Obviously, many of them will, and many of their predecessors have increased considerably in value. But of course, I can't guarantee that's going to happen. And do not buy them just for speculation. Buy them because you love them. That's the key thing. But they're really special. That is uh, 276346 if you want to uh, back that or you know uh, someone who would love it maybe for a Christmas gift this year. £229.99. Um, 57.50 if you want to pay clear pay. Uh, 276346 is the item number right there. Uh, now you talk about uh, a giant in well more ways than one in the world of uh, boxing. You talk about Tyson Fury and you've got a, a, a wonderful, wonderful item here. And actually um, Tyson Fury's one of the most sought after signatures at the moment, isn't he? Oh yeah, without doubt. I mean he, he is like, you know, a big character. The <clears> documentaries that were on TV recently about him and his family pulled in massive audience mm. and in the ring uh, he's, he's a colossus really I mean you know I remember the fight with Deontay Wilder and he apparently seemed to be out cold and somehow at, at the count of eight or nine he dragged himself back into the real world got up and you could see the in Deontay Wilder's eyes it was like I've got no hope 
you know, how can I beat this person? They're like, you know, they, they're out cold. And then He's coming back. By the count of three more counts, they're back in the world, you know, and beat the hell out of me. <laughs> but he was a powerful fighter, very, very respected. And the boxing fans adore him. And again, this was signed at a private signing. All of our boxing uh, stuff comes from the boxing stuff. <laughs> boxing collectors and memorabilia comes m nearly always from the company that Tyson Fury is very closely associated with and he's a director. People like AJ, Joshua, Mike Tyson, they all sign for the company he's involved with. And uh, one of the, the guys, they're the main director. I know Tyson's been training him in the ring and not to fight, but mm. to keep fit and things, you know. But the guy, is, uh, he, he's a real character, real, real character. And if you're looking for a piece of the man, we have a few things. Do check the website. Yeah. We've got shorts, we've got a robe, if you're lucky, but not many of them. And they fly out the door. I think we may have a few red gloves left as well. Always sell out. If you love him, grab him quick. He's a big guy, and that, that'll be a big interest in that. Yeah, such a big character as well. He was, um, mm. you, you know me, I, I like my wrestling as well, and the, um, a very recent event, the WWE Clash at the Castle, which was over in Wales, he was actually um, ringside for that, and he ended up uh, coming into the ring at the end of the, the heavyweight championship match, and he did all his singing and stuff. And oh, he's, yeah, yeah. He's a big character, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He often, at the end of the, uh, the fights, he'll be singing, you know, I think he sings American, American Pie, Pie yeah. quite a lot, because he's a massive fan of that and Don McClellan. Like, yeah, you know? and so yeah, he's he is a real, real character, and he's very close to the fans, which is wonderful. I know recently he did a, a tour of the country, doing like Q and A mm. sessions and meeting people with a lunch and things. And the tickets used to sell out immediately. The man's massive, and it's your opportunity to grab something from him that's hand signed. Yeah, and it's one of the most sought after signatures. Um, so grab it, grab this amazing item two zero eight zero seven. Nine is the item number £229.99 or £57.50 today if you want to spread it over four interest free payments um, on clear pay. Uh, the website, of course, collectiblesguru.com. That just looks the absolute business. Sure um, does. We're it? sticking with boxing next. And um, again, a guy whose um, name, well, became sort of uh, front and centre very recently, um, Alexander Usyk. He he's the guy who beat Joshua, isn't he? Yeah, he beat Joshua twice. He's actually, as far as I'm, I'm no, I think he still is. He's not think he is. He's the actual world cat, um, the, what's the weight down? The world oh, cruiserweight, cruiserweight champion as well. Mm. So he's, he's world champion at two weights. But yeah, he beat uh, Anthony Joshua for the Brits fans. A bit sad, but Joshua lost the last time. It was closer. There's talk maybe there'll be a third fight. But I think the more likelihood is that he will fight Fury to try and consolidate all the belts because he owns three of them mm. and Tyson Fury's got one. But I think the fight that everybody wants now will be to see these two together. And let's hope that Anthony Joshua can win back a few more important fights. And who knows, that fight that everybody wanted to see, Joshua E. Fury, may well take place. But the guy, yeah, powerful man, a great, he's a slick boxer, he's quick, he's quick, he moves around, you know, really quick with his hands and moves around the ring, doesn't he? Which is, makes him in the heavyweight division, he's very small for a heavyweight, because he is a cruiserweight. But uh, makes him, I think in the last fight, there was some like four stone lighter when Neil Summit than Joshua. Yeah. So it is very, very special. He's a great fighter and it's your opportunity to own something extremely rare. We've again just the last couple of them left now. So once they're gone, we do not have any more and I don't know if and when we will get any more either. Yeah, and again, worth bearing in mind, we're here every Sunday night from 10 on Sporty Stuff TV, but these shows are repeated through the week too, so chances are as uh, you know, more people are watching, more people are learning about the Collectibles Guru, these items will sell out in double quick time. So if you've got an inkling that you'll want it, uh, get it in your basket, get it for uh, 399.99 or four clear pay payments of £100. 211.959 is your item number there. And once again, you know, if you're a big boxing fan, you've got lots of choices this evening and um, again there's even more on the website isn't there yeah and that's right it, con it constantly changes but do keep looking at that website because um, you'll find that you know there's other items on there that we can't bring into the shows and you can break it down by your favorite sport or if you're looking for some music there's some music items TV film do keep checking it regularly it's, it should be your first stop if you're looking for something rare different and genuine in the world of collectibles and memorabilia
Yeah, and absolutely right. And worth just whilst we're having a look at the web here again, reiterating for those who've just joined us, people can buy from you in confidence, can't they? Because they're going to get all of the certification. Well, everything that we offer on mm. these shows, everything we offer comes with a certificate of authenticity with an, from an Aftal based dealer. Now, Aftal, A F T A L, Google it if you want, have a little look. They are one of the top three or four autograph trade associations in the world. And in England, in the UK, they're used by trading standards, police, insurance companies, and up big auction houses. They're used at the point of contact to authenticate autographs. So that's what you're getting. You're getting, you don't need to worry. You don't need to have any doubts. You know it's real, but very important. Do keep all that paperwork because it will add and enhance the value the day you ever come to pass it on or want to sell it or whatever it is. If you've got all that paperwork, keep it safe. We are going to have to motor on here. Ten minutes to go and yeah. lots more to show you. Now, you, you're going to have to um, school me a little bit here because... <laughs> Uh, John Charles uh, is a personally signed um, framed and mounted photo once again. Uh, tell me all about this guy. He's a bit of a legend. Yeah, he was a legend in his time. John Charles, Welsh uh, Welsh footballer, scored loads and loads of goals, went to Italy, become a superstar. His brother was Mel Charles, who also played for Wales as mm. well. But yeah, he was an incredible talent at the time. Um, obviously a long time ago, so we're trying to bring you historical characters that are true legends. You know, the only place you'd probably see anything of him is being a, a soccer museum or a, somewhere like that. Mm. Is that rare? Very, very sought after. If you put that on the screen in Italy, they'd, 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 you'd cause eruptions because he's <laughs> massive. Yeah. Massively important in Italy, you know. Yeah. They love him. Well, they love him in Wales. They love him here. But, um, you know, even if you think, who the hell is John Child? Look him up and you'll find he's a superstar of that area. Mm. And a very nice, clear signature. Some of the older players, that's one good thing you do get is a very clear signature. Really. Yeah. Not like the dribble. Like that, well, know. it seems to be yeah. the thing nowadays, though, isn't it, to have the most complicated signature? Well, that's It's like his signature. Put... You can't <laughs> read it. You can't <laughs> no, read it. Yeah. That's only on checks. He never signs checks. He never signs checks. What uh, are you talking about? I do. It's the bank don't like me signing. That's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah but if you, uh, if you want to grab that, uh, lovely, isn't it? It, like, like uh, Gaz is saying, to go back uh, a little bit further in time, that personally signed 16 by 12 framed and mounted photo, uh, signature display, John Charles, uh, very limited on that. Um, it does come framed, ready to go. Snap it up if you want it. £169.99, £42.50 is your first payment of four if you want to use clear pay. Now, a man I know more about, uh, and I, I wish we had longer than about uh, eight minutes left on the show, because we could certainly chat for a lot longer than that about this gentleman. Uh, Martin Johnson, a legend in the world of rugby, and of course, um, well, the guys you're seeing here with this amazing piece who took England to World Cup glory, didn't he? Well, he, he is, yeah, that's right, captain of England and captain of the Lions, successful Lions series. But this is what the English love him for. He was a great played in Leicester when he went off in his in his sort of early 20s and he went off and played a season in New Zealand they yes. tried desperately to get him to see if find if he had any New Zealand heritage you know uh, but he was a great leader tremendous leader of the troops and the, this was the epitome of English rugby at its top uh, out there when in extra time you know Johnny Wilkinson dropped that famous goal yeah. the, the roof of rugby clubs went off everywhere <laughs> yeah. pubs you know houses and let's say that the uh, sadly the uh, the uh, lemonades and other likewise drinks flowed. You know, it <laughs> and it was, was early uh, in the morning. And it was early in the it? morning. Yeah, <laughs> egg bacon and a pint of Guinness <laughs> didn't seem right, really, but never, or beer or whatever you drink lager. But anyway, <laughs> but yeah, this is a great image. You've got the um, you've got that great framed image of uh, Martin, the photo image there, and they're all celebrating from that. Fate, well, that infamous day, yeah. and his genuine hand signed signature. Again, if you remember a rugby club or think about maybe lunches, dinners, fundraising, do have a think about that because it is something very, very different. If you love rugby, and if any of my family are watching, you know what I want for Christmas? Get that, please. There you go. Get Get that Thank one, you. Please. Yeah, Christmas <laughs> is coming, so snap up that item that you think your family member would love. And again, you know, this is one of those things. Gaza talks about it a lot, which will take you back to that time. You know, maybe, maybe you were lucky enough to be there. I certainly remember watching the game. I actually, yeah. um, I skived off work for the day, called in sick because I thought I'm not missing this. No, no, it was this. one of them, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was. 
Uh, it certainly it was the start of about four days of serious partying, you yeah. know, wasn't it? I can't remember. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's right, yeah. It, it, it was good fun anyway. And this guy again, he was, he was uh, a great player for Australia. Very uh, outspoken, uh, especially against the Poms, us Poms, you know. But uh, again, he was an incredible player. He, he was just... He was just like a, a talent. He played as... A, sometimes he didn't play like a team player. I don't mean that in a in a rude way, mm. but he, he, he played sort of like very loose and off the cuff. But that was his strength. He was an amazing player. One of not Australia's greatest players Are you ever. talking about David Campese? Yeah, yeah, David Campese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, great, we, great player. Yeah, we're coming on to that in just a second. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, sorry, we're talking about Martin Johnson <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about both of them. Yeah, they're both great he's, players. He's getting excited. He was thinking no, about I'm that not, bacon I was looking sandwich. at David Campese and at Martin Johnson, you know, but anyway. 2 uh, 2 uh, if you've got the Martin Johnson personally signed uh, 16 by 12 frames and mountain photo uh, and signature display. We're coming on to Campese in uh, just a few moments time. However, before that, we are going to do darts. But before that, uh, brand new for anyone who loves their horse racing, champion jockey AP McCoy, uh, personally signed by the man. Yeah, again, this is a, a, a first day cover on horse racing with the horse racing original Great Britain postage stamp. That's an original stamp as well. So it's great because you've got all the links. You've got the original British postage stamp, yeah. which is in honour of horse racing. And you've got the cover that was, went with it. When, and it's actually done, that cover, the image is actually a silk lined image oh, okay. so it's made of silk that image and it's personally signed by AP McCoy himself so it's a beautiful item framed up it would look superb this one actually comes mounted it's 16 by 12 but it is a standard size so you can either have it just pop it in a frame you go to a you can buy that size of frame quite easily if you want it to go to a local Framer, or of course, if you want it made a bit more special, you can have it bespoke framed. Mm. But it's a standard size, ready to just slip in the frame and hang on your favourite wool. Yeah, and again, anyone who loves their horse racing, he dominated the uh, the world of horse racing, didn't he, for for many many years. Um, obviously, a very successful. Um sort of a pundit now for horse racing, but for, for any horse racing fan, I mean, that's a must, isn't it? It is a definite must, absolute must. He's, he's a great one of him as well. You can see him celebrating a victory there. Yeah. It's all about the passion and the love and the dedication. And look at that. It's, it, it, it's all captured there. Uh, £89.99. Uh, it's 294164 for that. A. Pete McCoy, personally signed 16 by 12, mounted photo and signature display. £22.50 today if you want to spread the cost on clear pay. Uh, next up, we're squeezing, we've got two more to squeeze in. If you love your darts, uh, this is fantastic. And what I love again, you know, we've got things like signed photos here, something a little bit different because we've got a signed shirt from The Power. Mm. Well, he was he was a great player. He seemed to win everything he did, when he, he played, didn't he? Yeah. I mean, darts fans. He's retired now, of course, which makes this even more difficult and even to to get because mm. he's not around so much. And uh, and again, very desirable for any darts fan. I would advise you, by the way, with any of these shirts, if you buy them, don't wear them because <laughs> the value goes. People do buy them, you know. Maybe you can have a secret photo taking them, but please don't wear them and yeah. don't wash them. No, because the idea, the value is in what you see, you know. The man there held that in his own hand and personally signed it just for you, you know. So, again, this is, this is a, again, exactly a replica of exactly what he would have worn when he watched him winning all those championship games. So like you said, he, he, snap it up quick. He won most of them. 250644 is the ISO number. It's £199.99. £50 today if you want to use Clearpay. All the details about that are on the website, collectiblesguru.com. And finally, we come yeah. to... I mean, to be honest, he's, he's, he's told us all about it already. Yeah, um, well, it's this David Campese caricature. Sorry, I could see it out the corner of my I, eye. I know, it's a lovely piece. Is. But David Campese was uh, around the time as well a bit of uh, Martin yeah. Johnson. Lovely full signature. Now, it, we should tell you, we have one or two others of these. These are... I think they're great, these caricatures. They're A4 size. They were done quite a long time ago now, at least... 15 years ago these were produced so there are very few of them around they're all numbered limited edition of 850 so the one that you get is the only one in the world and we literally have just a handful yeah. they've all gone they're really really hard to find 
But what's the, the real coup de grace with this? It's hand signed by David Campisi, and it's also hand signed by the caricaturist John Ireland. Now, John Ireland is a very, very famous and respected caricature artist, very, very famous. And his work alone is sought after just, just for the fact he's got his signature and they know how good it is. If you want a caricature of a sporting artist, this is probably the number one in the world. John Ireland, this is of David Campisi. That's why I was linking it to the rugby. I see it, you know, it would look good alongside the Martin Johnson if you bought it, you know, getting too excited. But there he is, like, racing away for another try. Very, uh, uh, an incredibly sort of talented player from Australia. Yeah. Pity you weren't English, but never mind. And hand signed by the man himself and hand signed by John Ireland. So that is a true piece of very, very sought after sporting art. 247404 is the item number there. Uh, yes, limited to 850. We have got a handful of those and that is it. £99.99 is the price um, or you can split the cost on Clearpay. And again, don't forget to check out the website, everything there that you see on this show, plus Gazza, uh, much more. Yep, there's loads there. Keep looking and check it regularly because it is constantly changing. So if you don't see it on there now, have a level little look or, and do let us know what you're looking for on these shows and we'll try and have a little nose for it. Absolutely right. Uh, massive thank you to Gazza as always. Thank you to you for watching as well. If you've enjoyed the show, don't forget we are here every Sunday night 10 here on Sporty Stuff TV. But for now, see you later. See ya. Bye. You've been watching a commercial presentation brought to you by Collectibles Guru.